Ole Gunnar Sozalkadjur admits he is excited at getting to work with top, top striker Marcus Rashford on a daily basis. In a wide-ranging interview with Stadium Astro, the Manchester United interim boss discussed the young English forward, how he can help, and whether notes from Sir Alex Ferguson's training sessions have come in handy so far. It has been a perfect start for Solskjaer with three successive wins since taking over from the sack Jose Mourinho. Those wins came against struggling Cardiff City, Huddersfield Town and Bournemouth, with 12 goals scored in those three wins. On loan from Mould until the end of the season, fans are enthused at watching United again with Solskjaer's commitment to attacking football so far. With Alexis Sanchez and Romelu Lukaku yet to get fully started under Solskjaer, the future appears bright for United. Red Solskjaer's view on everything from utilizing five attackers to helping pass on his X-Factor for goals to Rashford in the full transcript of his Stadium Astro interview. Do you think psychology is underestimated somewhat Ogs, football is played between the ears. You can say 90% is what is up in here, in the mind. I think that's the be-all and end-all of football. Talent, attributes, skills, there are so many players around the world that you can pick. But why do you choose him in front of him? It's personality, that's one tick.but at a club like this, when you are feeling down then it is about confidence. We know they have the personality, we know they have the skills, then it is about communication and getting to know each other. Confidence is important. You've spoken already in your press conferences about taking the players individually and having a chat with them, getting to know what makes them tick. Did you do that in a group setting as well? Did you invite them to your office ops? You speak to the players with what we, as a staff, expect from the group then it is easier to go into details with players in the office or out on the pitch. But a few of them have seen me in my office, caught me in the canteen, it doesn't have to be that formal. It's about speaking to them and communicating with them. It is like a family for you coming back here. Who has surprised you that they are still here or someone you had forgotten about Oggs? Everyone deserves to be here because of who they are but it is so lovely to walk in here and Kath still wants to be here. Karen, press officer, that she lasted. There is a reason players come here, but there is also a reason the staff are employed. The staff are here because they are good at what they are doing, and they are the best at what they are doing. If we can have that continuity, for example with Kath or the kitchen staff, the sports science guys are still here from when I was playing, physios are still here, that's so important. They know what's expected. They know the culture of the club.
It seems important, you have written in your program notes that players understand the values. Is that part of your message at the moment Ogs? I think so. Never ever, ever, ever forget where you are and what badge you are wearing when you are playing because we do have a different history to other clubs. We do have a different tradition. We have had the best boss in the world. We've had Sir Matt before then. We had a way of behaving and a way of playing. In terms of players, with other people coming back you have used Marcus Rashford as a striker. Is he an exciting prospect for you personally, because you can probably really improve him can't you Ox, you know, I went to see the young boys game around a month ago, and I met him as Jesse, lingered, just in the corridor as I was leaving the game. And he was size. He had a few chances in that game and I said don't worry son, just relax a little bit. When you're young you want to rush finishes off and it will be great to work with a potential top, top striker just on his calmness in front of goal. Yes of course you are excited to be able to work with all of this talent, but then going into detail with what I can do best. That was my X factor, scoring goals. So, if I can help and guide him a little bit, great. How can you do that, I am curious. Do you tell him to look up, pick a pass, or is it something you do in a training situation or an office situation odds? It's both. As you started off asking about mindset and mentality, it's all in the head. Know what you have to do, and that is the key to everything. Know what to do and be able to do it. Of course it's videos have good finishes, bad finishes, discuss things and then go out and practice and be as good as you can possibly get. There is always time for another practice session. In Alexis Sanchez and Romelu Lukaku you have a couple of world-class strikers. How excited are you to get the best out of them? We have seen the best and the worst for club and country in both of them, dogs, both of them are top, top strikers. I have just seen them now for a session today, Monday, and they had a light session yesterday, so it would be great to watch them more closely. Of course with Anthony, Marshall, Jesse, Lingard, Rash, I have seen them now in games and in live situations. But seeing how these react when out on the pitch will be nice because then I can know a little bit more. Would you fancy two strikers up front together Ogs, there should be five. There are so many of them. Yeah, why not? At times you go with two. Now we play with three, just one through the middle, but it's three forwards so there will be different ways that we can utilize them and get the best out of them. You've done so well, not just with the players, but the fans and the atmosphere, everyone is so happy.
Have you had a chance to be proud of yourself, congratulate yourself or is it so full on odds? No, you know I never look in the mirror that way and pat myself on the back really. I can now look back on my career as a player, yes, and talk to my kids about it. No, I will go back to Norway in May, and maybe then I'll reflect on how I did. Maybe then I can be really proud. Hopefully. Results depending, of course. If I can just keep helping the team and move us forward, move up the league, get some performances, I might just look back. I have got to talk about the great man Sir Alex Ferguson. Ryan Giggs said you took quite a lot of notes from his training and I was wondering if there was one key thing you brought with you from the Sir Alex Ferguson era Ogs, there are so many things that have modeled my way of handling players, managing games, team talks, everything. I did write down a few things. Not just behind the ears but also in my books and I have used some of what I call tricks at home in Norway and they still work. He was way, way before his age the way he managed people. You love playing for him and love being managed by him and towards the end I started realizing I better start making notes here. If you go to school for 15 years and you haven't learned anything that's wasted, so I started writing everything down and I look back these books once in a while 